thumbnail, <laughs> thumbnail, thumbnail. <laughs> Good morning to the best family on YouTube. What's up, family? It's currently my last day in the Bay Area, so I asked my friend to come out and kick with me. So he's taking me to a shoe store now. Um, it's called Soul Supremacy in Newark, California. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Because Phil <laughs> loves to buy shoes. See, he's wearing clown shoes right now. Those are bought at the Fremont, Fremont Clown Convention. Yeah. <laughs> what are those, Kobe's? Those are Kyrie's. Oh, Kobe. Those are Kyrie's? Yeah. Don't lie. Yeah. Let me see. Did the twos come out? <laughs> yep. Don't lie. The twos came out? I actually like the twos. Anyway, so I started buying well, shoes we'll get again. We'll twos. We'll go to Marvel. Yeah. They're here? Yeah. Oh, let's go get some twos. It's so I started buying shoes again. Not because I'm going to wear them, but I just, I was bored in LA, so I started copping again. So my collection got fat all of a sudden, and I'm just buying everything that I've ever wanted since I was a kid. So it's like, if there was ever a pair I couldn't get as a kid, I'm just buying now. So we're going into Soul Supremacy now and seeing what we're going to do. Wow, Paul doesn't wear shoes, but he's wearing these. Okay. No, these were given to me. Look, my dog chewed on these. Shout out to Sammy System. Shout out to Sammy System, my boy. My boy. All right, guys, let's enjoy the last day in the Bay Area. So here's Yo, their wall. Uh, 11, 4, right here. So what you getting me? <laughs> you getting me those? Yeah, dude. You getting me those? Damn, what you getting me? Oh yeah, you can get space jams your size. Are you getting me space jams? Yeah, I got you. Damn, they're hooking me up. All right, I get them for me. I'll wait in the car, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but here's what they got, guys. And they got stuff on this side, too. So I wanted to get these new bucks, but they didn't have my size. But they did have these. And I actually really like this colorway. This is a colorway I would wear every day. So that's not a childhood cop, because these just came out. You getting me those, too? No, you getting me those. Huh? <laughs> Come on, a holiday. Why would I get you those holidays? And my birthday's in January. So I'm gonna try these on, and I also want a pair of Space Jams, so I'll try Space Jams on. All right, guys. So here's are these. Here's are these. Here these are. <laughs> these are actually clean. I can definitely see myself wearing these every single day with a different color jeans. Ooh. What do you think? Ten and a half or eleven? Yeah, you have toes? Yeah. Thanks, Dad. All right, guys. So we are done. I will show you what we went with in a second. I'm going to take them all out, and then I'll, like, do it for the video and take a picture. You're going to be the host? Phil didn't end up getting me nothing, but I'll show you all these. And then I got to figure out how I'm going to get them to L.A., too. I don't even think about that. Is that, is that why you did it? I'll wear them and then bring them to you. That's why he did it, so I leave them here at his house. I'm not even going to take them to L.A. Alright guys, so I'll show you what I went with down the line, one shoe of each. These came in a pack right here, came in these two right here, so I actually really liked it and they gave me a deal on them. Got the Supreme 5s, got another pair of Bread 11s, got the 72 10s to wear for an everyday instead of these, and got Concords. Now I was going to get Space Jams, because if Phil can tell you anything, on Nike Talk, what are, hey, what are you used to be? Praise the XI. My username used to be Praise XI because they used to be my favorite shoes, but I never owned a pair of them. So that's why I want to get a pair of every single one of them to be able to say Praise the XI. So you will see me get the Space Jams. I'll show you my collection when I go home and show you the rest of everything. All right, I just bought everything and then we realized I, like, I can't take this to LA because how am I supposed to ship all these? <laughs> hey, come on, you're supposed to call me a pair. So now, uh, so now I have to ship them from here to go over there. Damn. So if you followed me since 2011, you know that these used to be my everyday shoes. Like every video, every, this was it. I bought hella pairs of these. This was the shoe of a lifetime <laughs> here. Damn. Call me it. Present? Present? Yeah, present. He just walks away, hella shady. Yusuf's uh, go-to for his toe. <laughs> Phil keeps coming back to the baby section. I think that means he wants a baby. You want a baby, Phil? There's right here. Hey. If y'all didn't know, Phil's girlfriend is right here. Asia. Look, they're a cute couple. See, the universe, by me hanging out with them today, is telling me to get a girlfriend get married. All right, let's go get your Starbucks. Okay. Okay. See, show her. He wants a baby. Uh, baby. No, he doesn't. No baby. He just told me. No, not now. Dang. Yusuf has a baby. 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 Yusuf has a
has a baby first. What? Phil, she just crushed your oh, dreams. Big dog. So after all the shoes I just bought, Phil still wants me to come get the Kyrie 2s. And I was like, nope, two. not buying them. You get them. You get them. I'm not, I'm not getting them. No, I'm not getting them. I'm telling you guys right now in this vlog, I'm not walking out with Kyrie 2s. So I haven't been showing it, but the Bay has been showing mad love. Every time we come to this mall, see you got Brubbers here. And the Bay just shows major love, so I love the Bay. Okay, I'm walking out without them because they were sold out. And now they're thinking I want them now all of a sudden. Because they're sold out. I don't want them. I just wanted to see them. That was my intention in the beginning. I just want to see the damn shoes. Huh? I have the text to show you. What's the text say? Kyrie's are fire. I want them now. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> But yeah, earlier what I was saying, man, the Bay has been showing mad love everywhere I've gone. So thank you so much to the Bay Area, man. I'm leaving tomorrow, but I'm gonna miss you guys dearly. Give me them. Yeah. No, your pants are too tight. Damn! So Phil doesn't stop, man. He came into another shoe store right here. You're gonna buy one. You don't stop. Phil, give me these right here. I want these. Oh, what's that, Louis? You have Lou Louboutin. <laughs> <laughs> those are Louboutin spikes. I forgot I had those. I gotta add those in my collection. Bruh, it's gonna get dangerous if I don't stop. When I show y'all what I got back in LA, it's gonna get real dangerous. Like, I don't even say what are those anymore, but if I were to ever say it about a pair, it would be what <laughs> the F are those? What size is that, though? They trying to be everything. <laughs> they sell that. And you know what, though? You know what, though, I was gonna say? Although they look like variant easies, I do like them. Oh, all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I do. No, I didn't like it because it looked like a rip-off Yeezy at first, but I do like them. They ain't bad. Damn, Lion. Damn, order. Lion. So I am really getting in touch with my roots now because when I worked in the mall, this used to be the place that I ate at every single day. So I would come on my food breaks and literally eat right here, Hibachi Sun, at New Park Mall. So... I, I like, I didn't forget my roots. I know where I came from. And the food is bomb, guys. It is legit bomb. So I went with that steak and chicken meal right there. So if you're ever in the area, try it out. It's bomb. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the food. This is Hibachi Sun, Japanese grill. Ooh. Just like I remember it. Oh, what'd you Ooh. get? Chicken and shirt. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> air. Damn. Do the harden. Do the harden. Damn. About to grow. All right, guys. That's the last time I'm gonna be in New Park Mall, probably for a year. Um. Probably won't come back here for a good 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 minute when I make my announcement as to where I'm living you guys will know why I'm not gonna be coming here no more. So buy new park fun memories fun times. What's up guys? Just got home last day in this house um, It was a good rejuvenation though. Uh, this was actually a very fun trip very fun with family um, I actually feel very good now, but now I feel focused and just like excited for what 2016 has in store. So I'm gonna end this year right. I'm going back to LA tomorrow, gonna celebrate it. Actually, New Year's is after tomorrow. New Year's is tomorrow basically, because tomorrow's the 31st. And then I'm gonna go into 2016 and just hit the ground running. I'm not gonna tell y'all what the announcements are, but I'll tell you guys this. 2011 through 2015 was the hustle, the grind, the work, the build up, everything. 2016 is gonna finally be everything that I've been trying to do since I was a theater arts major, you know, who joined YouTube. It's me crossing over to traditional media. Um, and you know, what that means is like TV, film, all that stuff. So it's gonna be one hell of a ride. So. Just wanted to pause in the middle of this vlog and say thank you for being a part of it now before then because if you join then you can never say I was with him before this stuff but you guys can so I appreciate that. So my parents just got home and my dad is feeding Lil. 
But what are you going to give her? I don't know. I'm looking for the protein food. And I can't find it. So Lil meows all day when she's hungry. My brother's not here because he's still at work. So my dad's trying to Let's feed her something this. else. Let's see if she can. has that though, Baba. Lil is different. Let's see if she's going to eat that. No, don't put it in that one. That's where her other food is. She's eating it. She's trying it. Yeah. All right, guys. This is how we're winding down the night. My dad is chilling. My brother is wrapping presents for his friends. I can't show my mom because she's not wearing her headscarf. A lot of people are asking why I can't show my mom um, because she's not wearing a headscarf. Can't show it. I am watching J. Cole's documentary featured on HBO. So HBO has released an episode every single week leading up to his January 9th documentary. But the January 9th show is just going to be a video of his tour for Forest Hills Drive. But there's actual five episodes leading up to it. And if you don't know because you're new to the journey, I am the biggest J. Cole stan. I've met him multiple times. I My career is inspired by him. Um, Dollar in a Dream, the instrumental you're going to hear at the end of this video, everything is about him. I don't talk about it as much now because now it's the thing to do. But before, like, I started with the warm-up. So I'm not going to say I was there, like, you know, during the come-up or anything like that. But I will say I'm the biggest J. Cole fan on all of YouTube. Um, so if any YouTuber says they're a bigger J. Cole fan than me, tell them FoosieTube said you're lying. Because you're not. Because Brother. the Brubra is the biggest J. Cole stand that there is. And I'm proud to say that. So, you know what? yeah. It's, it's a great problem. documentary. Go watch it. With them. They have no idea what this challenge is. I haven't. It looks like an overgrown baby sitting in. They have no idea what's going on. So, I'm about on. to show my Here's parents the video that they started in today. Um, and see how they like it. My mom doesn't even know the whole thing about the Whisper Challenge. So, she's about to find out right now. So, it should be good. What? is yellow. Dang it's not yellow. Yeah. It's you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's real! Let's go! Come on! She just found out we tricked her. Alright, so check this out, family. This is the end of this vlog, and this is the last vlog until 2016. Um, ah, there's so much I could say, there's so much I could say. Um, I don't have any big video to end the year with, I don't have a rewind, I don't have anything like that, but, um, it would be foolish to say this wasn't the biggest year of my career, um, and it was all thanks to you guys, and that's why I had to come back and start the vlogs again before 2016 started because it wouldn't have felt right to not thank you guys for what you guys have done for my life and my career this year. Um, it, it was a blur. All I remember is I took a break from vlogging last year this same time. I came back on January 1st uh, with Pride Land, um, the music video, and then I just started vlogging, running, and throughout that created a journey which I'd seriously think is the best family on YouTube which is the Dosa Fusi family man we've had our ups we've had our downs but all in all I think this was the greatest and most fun year that I've ever had and you know if there's ever a takeaway that I'm gonna have from this YouTube journey I'm definitely gonna have 2015 at the top of my list um, thank you guys so much for uh, every single vlog you have watched with me um, everything you've supported me with, um, every video that we did on FoosieTube that you guys destroyed and made the number one worldwide on YouTube. Um, just everything and don't even, don't even, don't even think I forgot about the streaming award for show of the year. The trophy's at my house in LA right now so I'm gonna go show it to you guys when I get home, man. You know, that is so undermined, but we won the freaking streamy for show of the year, man, and, you know, I just, I, I thank you guys, uh, I thank you guys so much, and I hope, I always say that, like, I hope you guys take something from watching my vlogs, and 
you guys get something and you know it does something for you i hope that all this time that you invested this whole year to being with me and supporting me i hope you have taken a lot from it whether it be the 90 day journey or whether it be me battling my bouts that i battled so many times throughout this year or just the little talks that i've done in some vlogs or just let's say you came home from work or school one day and you were feeling down i really hope that one of these vlogs was able to put a smile on your face and you were entertained and you just had a good time man um you know people always like you know mention the fact that i'm self-conscious and insecure and all that stuff and what that does is not allow me to see how powerful and big you guys are so i never take you guys for granted because i can never even fathom how big you guys are but i know people from the outside realize it when they're looking because everybody stares at the deal at pro breast because we're the best family on youtube <laughs> So I thank you guys so much, man, and I appreciate it. I cannot wait to make you guys super proud in 2016. I promise you, by the end of January, if you are not proud and excited to be a bro bro when I make my two announcements, feel free to unsubscribe from all my channels. Um, if you see me on the streets, um, Tell me you hate me uh, and I'll accept it because there's no way you guys aren't going to be amped. Like we're taking things next level and it's going to be crazy. In terms of what I'm doing with FusiTube, I don't know at the moment. Um, I don't know what artistic route I want to take it in 2016, especially with the announcements that I have uh, that I'm going to be making pretty soon. There might be a third announcement, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, with that being said, I talked about myself enough. I want to talk about you guys for a second. I want you guys to use this last day of 2015 and I know people always say I hate when people say new year new me don't treat it like any other you know don't treat it differently it's any other day but nah I want you guys to treat it differently and I want you guys to use this last day as an opportunity to leave anything you don't like about yourself or your life behind in the past and don't bring it with you into the new year you know no matter what it is, you have an opportunity to change it and let it go right now because it's holding you back. If there's anything that's making you unhappy in your life, if there's anyone who's making you unhappy, if there's anything about yourself that's making you unhappy, whether you are a certain way or you have a certain tendency or you have a certain habit or you have an addiction, whatever it is, try your best to kill it at the end of 2015 and go into 2016 as a new person. I personally believe that I have killed off my old self and I have come back a brand new person and if I haven't shown you that yet you guys will see a brand new me throughout this year and you know it's just a very subtle change it's a change internally I know that I have made within myself and there have been circumstances where I have already proven it to myself because the old me would have reacted a certain way or done a certain thing or said a certain thing but the new me uh, it is uh, very very content with himself and very happy and a quote that kept me going that I want to share with you guys through everything and it really helped me understand my issues and my problems with my life and everything was this it's something along the lines of if there is no evil within then there's nothing that the evil outside can do to you it's around those lines meaning if you yourself are okay with yourself and you don't got problems that you yourself are dealing with or battling or hating yourself or whatever then there's nothing that can happen in the outside world that can affect you once I understood that I realized I was focusing my life and my circumstances based on stuff that was happening externally and what's happening around me without realizing that the problem was in myself internally and I had to fix that person and I had to find a you know a, a resolve there and there were too many issues in my life that I was dealing with personally that I wasn't taking care of and I was just brushing them off as if they've never happened and I've been doing that as a child until I finally realized like nah the, these things happened these things affected your life and you have to you have to accept them and you have to get better as a person and that's what I'm doing now so in 2016 I'm going with a great head on my shoulders and I'm proud to say that and I want you guys to be able to say that too I want you to be your best friend this year I want you to love yourself respect yourself and trust yourself throughout the year I want you to always keep it moving and keep it forward keep it pushing forward never stop and there's a whole cuss out 
yes, a cuss out, not even a motivational speech that I'm gonna give you guys about not settling to be average and wanting to be better than average and wanting to be better than those around you and the circumstances around you and the cards that life has dealt you. I want you to want better and I'm gonna get it out of you in 2016. If there's one thing I'm gonna do in 2016 in terms of me wanting to do my motivational piece with the documentary and everything, once everything starts coming out, it's this. I want to get you guys on the right step to be the best version of you that you can be. And I want you to love yourself and I want you to be in a brand new position at the end of this year than you are in right now. And I promise you I'm gonna do my best to get you to that position. If there's one thing I vow this year with all the success that's gonna be granted to me from the law of attraction and my vision board and all my announcements, I wanna do the same for you guys and I promise you I'm gonna try my best to do that. Now I always, emphasize this and I don't there's something somebody taught me and it's about judgment so right now I was about to say but I know what you guys are thinking this 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 and this but somebody taught me if you have to say that if you have to justify yourself it means you're judging yourself so I don't judge myself anymore I accept myself and I say whatever I feel so when I say the grind don't stop I mean it a hundred percent because the grind doesn't stop the grind might take breaks the grind might you know pause whatever but you know what it never stops. The grind doesn't stop. During my break, I was working. I have two of the biggest announcements of my career coming this month. I was working. And even if I wasn't doing anything, the grind doesn't stop because I got back up. I always tell you guys, I'm gonna fall. You haven't seen the last of me falling. I'm gonna fall once, twice, three, four, five, six times in 2016. But every single time I fall, I'm gonna rise. I'm gonna rise and I'm gonna roar because that's what I believe in and that's what it means to be a DOF bruh bruh. And that's what it means to be a lion and a part of this journey. And you guys are all a part of this journey with me and I don't have my roar if it wasn't for you guys. Because if you guys weren't behind me and supporting me the way that you do, I don't have my roar anymore and I don't have my voice anymore. You guys give me my strength, you guys give me my courage and you guys give me you know, the, the, the ferocity and to, to chase these dreams which are scary man and to live this life which is scary. Anyways, I'm rambling, but I, I, it's been, you know, I jumped back in the vlogs and I haven't had a heart to heart with you like this, but I'm glad that I just got to have it right now, a little bit of it. And I'm excited to take you back to LA. I'm excited to show you my new place. I'm excited to show you the house. I'm excited to show you all the stuff coming out. I'm excited to show you Dollar and Muffin, and I'm excited to take you on the journey that we're about to go on in 2016. So if you're coming with me, this year give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below that you're a dof bruh bruh and ain't nothing stopping you and until then i'll see you tomorrow on dosa fusi in 2016 where the grind don't stop the tea stays green and the lions we stay roaring <laughs>